Today we're going to barbecue this 4 kilo red snapper on the Weber kettle. It's going to be fantastic. Look how stunning this looks. This comes from the Indian Ocean. Fresh, beautiful. Look at the colors. So we're going to be attempting to cook this in the barbecue. So first off, we need to prep it. Take scissors, we cut off the fins and the dorsal fin. Wow, it's super hard. This fish is absolutely massive. And as a consequence, everything is hard. Oh, here you go. Side fins as well, these come off. Little fins at the bottom. Now for the prep, we're gonna keep it super simple because this is gonna have such nice sweet flavors. We don't want to detach it too much from this natural. So what we're gonna do is the following. And I need my lovely assistant, Ines. Yes, so we're gonna do very simple covering. So a little bit of olive oil, please, if you can put it all over the fish. Thank you. We'll give this a massage. The little face as well. Here in the cheek, this meat here is fantastic. Just like that. Then in this other side as well. And then we're gonna put some in the belly and then the olive oil is done. Some in the belly. Nice tummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then what we need is parsley. This is gonna give a great aroma. We're just gonna fill all the insides. Just like that. And then we're gonna take some salt. Iras, can you just take some salt? Not too much, just put a little bit inside. Yeah, that's fine. All the way inside. A little bit on the top here. We're gonna massage it in. And on the other side as well. This is a big fish, so you need to put a bit of salt because you kind of need it. That's all. And then, Ines, if you cut me the lemon into slices. I think I should have an assistant every time. Ines, do you want to be part of the show forever? Okay, and we just put the lemon in. You can do the slices thinner as well. <laughs> is, it, is it too thick? No, it's fine. Let's go for it. Uh, it's a massive fish. It's a massive guys. fish. Everything's big with this fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the herbs, you can put whatever you want. You can put rosemary, you can put dill, you can put oregano. All of them have slightly different flavors, which are going to be, be part of your fish. I prefer to just keep it really simple. I think parsley, lemon. I mean, people add garlic. I don't like that. I, it just, just keep it simple. Look at this fish. Why would you want to change any of the flavor. Now, we got one problem, potentially. Where does this fit? Can you just see how long it is? So it's 68. 68, the Weber is 65. So it's not great to do, but I think we need to cut some of the tail off so that it kind of fits into the barbecue. Haircut time. Oh my goodness. This is such a big fish. Everything is so hard. Uh, let me see whether with a knife might be easier. So too tough for the scissors. Let's see if with the knife we do it better. My goodness. This, this is a beast, it's a monster. Third attempt. <laughs> Third attempt, bread knife. I mean, if this doesn't work, we'll have to uh, go for a mechanical saw. I mean, it gives an idea of how powerful these fish are. Look at that. Now we're back with our trusted Weber kettle. Ideally, a fish that big, you want to cook indirect because over the fire, what's going to happen is going to burn and then it's not going to cook through. The problem is that that fish is the size of a shark. So I need to kind of try to replicate the indirect method somehow and i got the idea of using these these are barbecue sheets so i'm just going to put them over the fire and my idea is that they will act as a fire heat deflector like a heat deflector thank you very much and allow us to cook the fish slower now the temperature we're going to cook at is 180 to 190 celsius and i gather a fish of four kilos that way it's probably going to take us an hour and 20 minutes 30 minutes and we'll see how that goes. 
So fire comes down. Okay, comes in. We'll put this on one side, just like that. Spread it out so we get the right so the fish can fit. I guess we'll put the bad boy here. Now, as always, holds away from where you put the coal so that you know air goes over it and everything is the right temperature. So we'll wait until this gets to 180, 190, and the fish goes in. Okay, let's do it. Okay, look at this beauty. Oh, I mean, honestly, it's fantastic. Oh, and it fits just about the middle. All right, so we got the fire over here. Underneath here, there's nothing. We're gonna use this paper to protect it a little bit. I think we're good, right? I, mean, I can't wait to eat this already. Like, look at that, it's fantastic. What do you think? Then we get to take Frantoyo extra virgin olive oil. Frantoyo is a variety of olives and it's perfect for fish. And we mix it together with a little bit of fresh parsley. Let me show you what we're gonna do now. This is looking beautiful. We're just gonna take a little bit more oil and then we're just gonna baste it. Make sure this remains lovely and succulent. And then we're gonna take our meter and you wanna put it in the thickest part, which is about here. So we're just gonna go from the top. And we're gonna put it in. Remember, we're looking for about 60 degrees Celsius. So when we see we're about 45, 50, we're gonna turn it to the other side so that the other side gets cooked as well, and then we get to eat it. And when the time comes, we get to turn it, which to be honest, I'm not really sure what's the best way of doing it. Meter comes out. Now, we wanna pivot on the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plan B, two thongs. Tongs. Tong, huh? Tongs. Tongs. Tongs, not thongs. I think let's just take this apart so it's a little bit easier. I don't know, guys, feeling nervous. So heavy. I feel like we need multiple people. I'm gonna call help. Ines, need your help. So we need to turn the fish. I think we need three, two people. Three, considering the guy filming. So, it's massive, right? So you hold here, mm -hmm. I hold the middle, and then we turn on his back. It's like, it's like from the emergency room movies. Three, two, one. Pivot! No, it's not working. So let's try again. We need to hold it there, right? I got it. Okay. Luca, you're in charge of this piece here. Bro, Cameraman. Wait, 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 give me something to hold. Yeah, hold, you're gonna hold this. Okay. Guys, we are ready? Three, two, one, and... Turn. turn, 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 okay. That's not bad, that's good teamwork. Uh, it's good teamwork, well done everybody. Ah, look at that, it's coming apart, lovely. This looks like it's nearly ready. It's so juicy. We're gonna base with a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna stay nice and juicy. Putting this on the tray afterwards, that's gonna be another challenge, but we'll worry about that later. We take our meter, it goes back in. Thickest part. Cover it up. <coughs> and I think 20 minutes, probably we're gonna be ready. It's taken us an hour and 15 minutes. Internal temperature is about 62 degrees. So our fish is cooked and come closer. You can see it's still very juicy. The eye that shows that it's cooked, the cheek, this meat will be fantastic. So. Again, the main challenge will be to move it without breaking it. And in fact, in hindsight, probably would have made sense to just kind of keep it in the tray while cooking it. You know, lesson learned. After a long deliberation, we decided that we're gonna put the tray underneath this sheet. So hopefully it doesn't break. Ines, can you do me the favor of trying to push this thing through as I'm lifting? Okay. Feels like... <laughs> It's like the episode of Friend. Pivot! Pivot! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I like this, like this, like this. Oh yeah, good, good, good. Okay, pull. Oh yes, okay. Love it. Okay. Oh, well done, everybody. 
Oh, look at this. It's fantastic. Oh, look at the meat. Delicious. Okay, let's take it upstairs and start cleaning it. What do you think about this? All right, let's go. And now before serving everybody, let's try it ourselves. So come closer. We're going to take some of the skin off. Just show the beautiful meat underneath. And this four kilo is going to serve easily six people. Look at that. Now, we're going to take a little bit. See, look how juicy it still is. So this is perfectly cooked. It's all nice and white, but you still have a ton of moisture. And the way to do it, in my opinion, is that you put it in here, then you take some Frantoyo extra virgin olive oil, a little bit over. The aromas are going to be insane. Look at this, so tender. Mm. Oh my God. This is delicious, guys. Buon appetito.